So today is a really exciting day. As you can tell by the title, I've bought some wheels that are manufactured by a... Morning. Hello. Morning, sorry about that. It's okay, I was thinking of the, um, the lovely car. Wait, what? <laughs> Could see. Oh. Mother's getting the front fixed. When the front it's... fell off? Oh. So I've got uh, got that from insurance. I, that's why I was ringing. I was just ringing you then to say. Oh, to be like, where are you? I was thinking you haven't like gone to meet me at my house. No, no, that's um, that's my current runabout. But yeah, well, we're on. I'm on road on that. But uh, so today is a very exciting day because we're going to collect some wheels that I've in theory bought uh, from Facebook Marketplace and they're manufactured by, as you can tell by the title of the video, a supercar manufacturer and I won't give that away yet but you have to wait and see but I'm super excited. Welcome back to Studio 42 TV. Are they supercar or a sports car? Supercar, for the sake of the title. Yeah. <laughs> we, just, we have just arrived at uh, the street that he told us to arrive at, and I've just given, a, given him a ring, and he said he's going to be walking round, and he said he's about a 30, 30 second walk away. So he should be here any, any second now. But I can't wait to see what these wheels look like. I've chosen some wheels that have apparently just been refurbished, so they're in really, really good condition. They're from a car that is was produced in 1985-ish, I think. So that might give you another clue as to what they might look like. They are the wrong PCD for the hubs on this car, so I have had to order adapters, which are coming via DPD in the post today, so knowing DPD they're a bit crap with their delivery. I'm not sure if this is the guy here in his van. Hiya mate. Hiya. Take it down the Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, fine. Yeah. There we are. Exciting stuff. I'm really, I'm really impressed with those. Because um, I, like you coming here, I, I was a little wary. I was like, what if they don't look quite as good? As they, yeah, as well, they I've been doing. Photos. I, I mean, I'm okay at Photoshop-ish. Oh shit! What was that? That sounded like a can or something. Yeah, that was a can. I, I really hope that my wheels aren't. I hope that they're not going to be punctured down. From that take but anyway, no, um, okay. yeah, I've been doing little like renders and trying to Photoshop yeah. those wheels on this oh, car. Yeah. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, they look okay, and I was sort of, uh, the proof is only when you, when you see it. Oh, shit. Need fuel as well. Can you direct us to fuel on the way? Yes, there was a golf garage. Take a golf garage. That's a good idea. I could have a golf livery on this. Uh, I, did, I love the Porsche. I love yeah. the golf livery. made it back to the house and we've got the jack out and all the tools that we need to change the wheels over. I can't wait to put these wheels on the car, they're going to look so incredible. Now these wheels were originally stock on this car and they've actually got the registration printed on the spokes which is which is pretty cool for sort of originality and potentially resale which I'm not planning on doing anytime soon or maybe ever if I can help it. Now one thing that I'm slightly concerned about is the offset of these new wheels are slightly 
I'm not sure it's more or less, but me basically that I think they'll stick out more than these wheels will. Plus, I need to use adapters, which I mentioned before, which we've been and waiting in anticipation for for the last about two or three hours. And they're just behind me here, yet to open the package. So I'll do that in a second. These adapters will actually push the wheels out even further. So without further ado, I think I'm gonna get to putting on these wheels. I think you can probably see the color of one just by there against the wall, but I'm not gonna, not gonna bore you with putting these wheels on. I'm just gonna get straight to it and put the wheels on now. So what might give you another clue to what kind of wheels these are, they are, the stud pattern is 5x130, which I, I think were only on very few number of cars back in 80s, 90s era. So I can bolt one to the hubs and then I can, they can bolt them into the, bolt the wheels into these and it should be all hunky-dory and it should work perfectly fine. So I've positioned the jack under the jacking point. I've got this new slimline jack that's very fancy and uh, very professional looking, which doesn't match my ability at all. But there we go. I need to take these, I've got the locking wheel on that, I need to take these wheels off. These are actually off my brother's S3, which is just up there. And he said I could borrow them to see what they look like. But that was only a short lived thing because I found these, these new wheels from a, uh, they're, they're gonna look way better. So I need to hurry up and get these off. Looks so nice and shiny, finally something shiny and new going on my car. So as you can see, we've just put this wheel adapter on this wheel hub. So the, the new hub now will able, be able to receive the wheels that are 5x130 PCD. Now it comes with these bolts here that are meant to screw these adapters into the hubs and they've got slimline heads that go in so then when you put the new wheel on it sits flush and now we're ready to put this front wheel on I can't wait to see what it's going to look like I reckon it's going to look really insane fingers crossed that they actually fit and don't hit the arches or anything hits or scuffs or all of that nonsense that's usually intrinsically linked with putting new wheels on the car when you don't really do much research beforehand but forget all that, let's get, get on and do it. So I've just finished putting the wheels on and they look absolutely insane. Let me show you. So some of the more eagle-eyed viewers amongst you may have noticed that these Porsche 944 beauties weren't on the front of the car in that montage just then. Now, some of the even more eagle-eyed viewers amongst you may have realized why that is before I realized actually. The first minor issue that I did overcome is the fact that the hubs on this car have a 5x100 stud pan and the bolt pan on these Porsche wheels is 5x130. I thought I was being very clever by finding some adapters that adapted the bolt pan on the hub of the car to fit the hub of the wheel. Now that is fairly common when you want to put different wheels from a different car with a different hub PCD onto your own car. Now the slight thing that I may have overlooked slightly, somehow, I don't know how I managed to overlook it, I'm just being completely stupid, I think basically what it was, I saw these wheels online on the interweb and it was kind of love at first sight but basically I completely overlooked that this king car has got these bloody big S3 Mark 1 S3 brakes on it so let me demonstrate why these wheels don't fit you can kind of see that the wheel is just going to be way too small to fit the rotor and the caliper in whilst being central to fit the bolts into the hub the obvious solution now is 
to get new wheels, unfortunately. So something has got to happen with these wheels. Now, I'm not selling them just yet. I have got a very good plan for what's going to happen to these wheels. And there will be more information on that in a future video coming very soon. Whilst I do really like the look of these wheels, it's unfortunate that I can't have them on. And at the moment, as you can see, I'm running the, these wheels on the back and then the normal Volkswagen wheels on the front, which is a bit of a strange look really, and I don't think I can carry on doing that for much longer. So what I need to do now is put the original Volkswagen wheels back on the back and the front, so it's all, all even, just for now, while I find some new wheels. Now, there are some in contention. Now, let me show you some wheels that are in contention now. Now, I can assure you, they do look insane. We've got these. Hey, hey! I've just stolen my camera off me because you'll have to wait for the next instalment to see what happens next. Now, don't forget to subscribe if you like the video, hit the bell for notifi so that you're notified on future videos. And I'll catch you in the next one.